Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Dragon, this is No Man's Sky. Uh, just portaled into a new system. Brand new planet. Uh, I have no idea what to expect with this planet yet. I haven't even got to the river yet. But uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm having a great day. Uh, ooh, looks like we got a bunch of ball plants or something going on down there. Looks like it's a water planet as well. But, uh, I went ahead and left that last system. I was having quite a bit of fun <laughs> exploring that one planet, but, um, ended up starting to run out to the point where I wasn't finding too much anymore. The things I was collecting for resources just weren't, wasn't coming up like they had been before. So I was like, well, it's time to move on. Um, just thought I'd let you all join me as I came to this new system. I'm kind of looking. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Something's like, my ship's not wanting to control. I'm having issues at the moment. Like, I can't. Wait. Huh. I don't know what's going on. I'm having issues controlling. Well, let's go ahead and land. I can already see what I'm going to be naming some plants on this planet. Death Star trees everywhere. I have no idea if I just landed near that those buildings are seen or not. I had no control over my ship at all in space. I don't know what was going on there for a second. Oh, I guess I did. Quick scan. Oh, real quick, before I forget, I, I well, if I can get off this silly journey screen. Maybe. Come on. Let me do something here. Alright. Something I discovered as I was tweaking my stuff. Alright, you see here on the multi-tool. Now you see how this stuff is all amplified, lined in green? Now the reason is, is these are all complementary. They all do the same thing. And they're all touching each other. These are all beam enhancements. And you notice these all are sur surrounded in red right here. Well, these are all bolt caster now if I can move all of these over here and under this I not mistaken I'd get a big bonus but I'm not sure but uh I don't know uh, one or two of these items I don't know but um I may end up moving on some of this stuff as we go but I don't know I'm not that worried about it but um I just wanted to share that because that's something I discovered I noticed they were lighting up and I've actually tested it and it really does seem to make a a uh, fairly large difference. Now it doesn't seem to be the same on the ship. I don't know if it's like I just don't have stuff lined up or what, but because I can't really put nothing with my weapons, so I really don't know if it's the same with the ship. And I imagine well, it looks like it might be because a uh, life support and life support module are blue, so it probably is the same on that, huh? I'm gonna probably unlearn this because I don't think I need that on this planet. Probably going to need the water thing though because this planet does look like it's underwater around the outside the edges of it, but um Yeah, oh wow look boy stone already. I am in a system for the Kovacs again and I'm, I'm making my way to the um, a System with an atlas thing in it apparently which I believe is the next jump um, I could have went ahead and jumped there, but I don't really like to skip ahead uh, so I was kind of like, well, you know, I'm going to come through here and I'm going to explore. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff right here that we're landed at. I'm still not feeling real great. Uh, so I don't know how long we're going to actually do today's episode. kind of want to play for a little bit, but at the same time, just not feeling great. Oh, off the button too quick. All right, let's see what we can scan here. Let's scan this. All right, and let's scan the ball thingies. Uh, you know, it's kind of fun, but at the same time, it's kind of tedious when you first land on a plane. You got to scan everything. Oh wow, that tree's got serious tentacles. 
tree that makes me feel like it, if it was actually a living tree that you would not want to get close to it because those things look like they move. Scan that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Anything else nearby that I need to scan? Yep. Scan this thing. There's actually a plant that really looks like this right here in real life called the rock plant. That's something I have. It's really cool. It's actually a what's called a succulent, and it looks just like rocks, like just like rocks, sitting in a uh, thing of dirt when you plant. Oh. I seen something off the corner of my screen there for a second. But uh, yeah, it looks just like a rock. Like, I mean, like, it is trippy how much it looks just like a rock. When I very first seen them, I was like, well, I asked the person, why well, you got a bowl full of rocks? And they kind of laughed, and I was like, that's a plant. <laughs> and sure enough, it was a plant. But uh, really neat. Completely off topic, I know. But that plant back there made me think about it. I scanned the pink ones though, right? Pretty sure I already scanned that. Yeah, it's the one with the tentacles. What about that? Is that a rock? Or what is that? And, um, I did stop at this base station in this system. I believe I'm going to be collecting lots of iron on this planet, which is good because apparently my little rock plant rock. Oh, no, we don't want to shoot the Voltcaster. No, I think the Voltcaster is basically useless, but hey, whatever. It keeps telling me I need it, so I have I've made one. But the reason uh we're going to be harvesting a lot of iron. Oh, this is a toxic plant. I didn't even notice that. Well, I'm glad I didn't forget that toxic thing. Um, yeah, the reason we're going to need a lot of iron is apparently the sh the um, space station above buys um those karite sheets which are made w from iron. So I'm going to basically take up tons and tons of iron and just stand there and sell sheets. And they are selling for a pretty penny. Like, quite a bit. I got a feeling that if I do this right and pull this off properly, I can make quite a fortune off these things. Thankfully, I'm not being attacked by Sentinel. Matter of fact, I haven't even seen a Sentinel yet. Oh, there appears to be a planet rising in the distance, though. I also don't see any life forms. But sometimes that happens. You don't see none when you first land. Alright, yeah, great. Oh, I hear a sentinel. I was going to check out the rocks I destroyed. There's a spaceship. One, two, one, one. Yep, sentinel. <laughs> Good old sentinels. You can always rely on them to come and check out and ruin the fun. You didn't scan that plant. That is a weird looking plant. Kind of reminds me of, um, what is that guy's name? Um, the, the clown from, um, not Krusty, but, um, the other clown from, uh, The Simpsons. One played by, um, oh, what is his name? The guy that plays Fraser Crane. I have to look that up. Fraser's one of my favorite TV shows when I was from when I'm young was younger. Matter of fact, uh, for those of you who don't know, you can watch it on Netflix, and if you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. I'm currently a little over halfway through watching it all over again on myself. Very good, very funny. Yeah, we may be naming that plan after him because that's what he kinda looks like. Kind of funny. <laughs> into my ship. Uh. Alright, let's go up inside this thing. Enough goofing around out here on the outside. Oh. Looks like something went down here. Come on, scan. Yeah, I seem to be having, like, control issues tonight. Like, I'm hitting buttons and nothing is happening. Who 
wall, ball on the wall. Who wants to cause like really trippy looking? You know these people just the the lighting. I mean, come on now. It's like they got big freaking like area lights sitting out inside their homes and stuff. It cracks me up. It's like really. Ooh, kind of like that. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's make it less bright in here just because. You know what? I can. Oh, did I not jump in here? There we go. Can I not turn this light off? Well, fine then. I thought I could turn off all the lights. Whatever. Defeat. Whoa. The door just kind of just opened. Defeat all my fun. I do believe there's a planet trying to rise on the horizon there. Rise on the horizon. Scan the water plant real quick, or the mushroom. Gotta make sure we get everything. I actually don't think I've 100% of planet yet, which kills me because I've explored these planets from top to bottom. I think we'll see any fish. I've only seen two type, no, one type of fish actually. It's really kind of cool to see more fish. Can I scan that rock. That's something else they need to really work on is uh we need to build a just surface and just sit on the surface and regenerate our oxygen rather than have to uh jetpack out. That is kind of annoying. And as you see here, like I'm just kind of bobbing. What was that? Probably here to a nickel. Let's see, anything else to scan down here? Scan that. I wonder if I scan these little wispy grass. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Also seems that I automatically surface on my own. Uh, yeah, we can scan that. Ooh, those are kind of pretty looking. Maybe I can't scan that. See what I see? I see what looks like fish in the distance. I almost had to scan. Fishies! Now, hopefully, they're nice fishies. That was the last thing I really want to encounter. Oh, look at that big thing. Goodness. Man, this planet's got all kinds of water life underneath there. Probably not close enough. Oh, yep. Wow, that's a big one. Mathis. Wow, this is this this one then planets where we got everything under the sun to scan. Well, under the sea, I guess, huh? Alright, let's see if we can get closer to the fishies. And recharge my health, my oxygen. Oh, I see movement. I'm excited about this. So this is gonna be a plan I need. Oh, come on now. I'm gonna need water and whoa. Beautiful. All right. Get another scan and see if this thing's way out here in the distance. The same thing. Looks like they might be. See what that creature looks like real quick. Oh, that is weird looking. I like angel barracuda freaky combination. Hmm. I may have to make the oxygen thing on this one as well. Just. Uh. Oxygen and poison. Man, you're talking about a planet and a half. Oh, Sentinel. Go ahead. Nobody wants you around. 
It's kind of trippy how this water's all purple looking, but when you get up on the edge, it's all blue and white. And it's kind of cool looking. I wish I could swim faster, Pat. That would be nice. Alright. Now this is cool looking right here. Must be high as high salty water. Or something similar to salt, I guess. Yeah, that's what I expected. It'd be neat if we could have more of a selection of elements. Like, different named elements that do the same thing. You know, they just share properties. Or instead of every planet having spiky red crystals for plutonium, they had, like, them round ball things right there for the plutonium, you know? I mean, I get it. Things need to be uniform so people know what they're looking for, but mm, I don't know. Why am I stop moving? Oh, I can't move. There we go. I was stuck there for a second, y'all. Uh I know this is really exciting. Ooh, high deposit to emerald. I've been thinking more and more about doing the cut and cutting out, but I mean, other than cutting it out to see aliens and maybe ships and the different the way the different planets actually look, there's not really. This is not a super exciting game. This isn't a game for those who get bored easy, that is for sure. I mean, honestly, it's pretty much it's kind of a boring game, truth be told. Even though I'm having fun playing it, it is kind of a boring game. One of them games you can, like, put on some headphones, jam some music, listen to the atmosphere, or in my case, when I'm not uh, talking to you all, I uh, occasionally, well, I either jam some music, um, or I... Uh, Listen to Japanese lessons, or I, um, I've actually, well, I haven't done it yet, but I've been contemplating listening to an audiobook, which, yeah, I know, that sounds really exciting to most of y'all, but I actually like to read, and, uh, I don't know, sometimes audiobooks are pretty good, sometimes they're kind of like, meh, but, uh, I don't know, man, that stuff right there, that drains quick, like, that is, like, I don't know if I'll recharge this again after this charge. We'll see how quick that drains this time around. Alright. Off to somewhere else on this planet. Scan. Scan. There you go. Ooh, looks like we got lots of plutonium. Or at least a decent amount. That's always good. Ooh, six station. Is an observatory. Uh, I guess I should. Oh, if it'll let me land. <laughs> Might not be something that all of the life form on this planet is under the water, since the planet's surface is toxic. Maybe it is green, it just looks different from a distance, but that does not look green. Did I find a new element? No, I guess it is green. That don't look green to me. That one right there looks green. Those look blue. I don't know. It's okay though. 
This stuff's valuable, so you know, I'll take every single little bit of it once they give it to me. Ooh, look, an animal. Ooh. Let's check it out. What are you? Oh, he's hostile. What? That is a huge hostile animal. You gonna let me have a good screenshot of you or you gonna be a pain in the butt? Guess what? I ain't against getting a screenshot of your dead body. <laughs> oh, I kinda feel bad. I get it. I don't think it's dead. Knock it out. I think it's tricky looking. Oh god, Anteater and Stego. Alright. I'm gonna blow it up. That is something I am discovering is quite frustrating with this game. Um, apparently, if you have a knowledge stone even remotely nearby and you shoot a grenade, said knowledge stone will disappear. Even if you're nowhere near it with the grenade. And uh, the only way to get them to come back, from what my experience so far, because it's happened now four or five times, is to uh, basically quit and re-log into the game. Because there was a knowledge stone right here, which is why I was coming over here in the first place. But, uh, yeah. So basically, if I want that knowledge stone, I have to stop playing and actually log out because I don't think it works with just loading the save. Which is really frustrating. Something's glowing green up here. Yeah. You wanna know my forms? Cool, look at that thing. Nice scan those great big giant mushrooms. Looser it. Well, I hadn't. Man, that is some psychedelics right there. Oh, well, maybe not. War givers? I don't know if I want to eat a mushroom that's got war in its name. It seemed like that'd be a very fun ride. Oh my goodness, look at all the plutonium. We'll take every single bit of it. I gotta remember, I'm here for iron. That is what we want to fill our inventory up with when we go back with. Plutonium is basically for fuel. I don't know what it sells like on the ship. But I do know that I can make them sheets and sell them for a fortune. I actually think I may unlearn that ricochet thing and speed up um, my resource gathering. Because that's something else I discovered. I didn't know this. Um, I now know what each one of the things mean. Um, man, that is a serious rock. As soon as we'll harvest this rock, I'll go in and explain. Man, there's plutonium everywhere. Goodness. Come on. Almost. Almost. Get in there. And there we go. I better get a lot of iron from that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So I was saying, this is something I've discovered. Uh, okay, beam intensifier. Mining beam laser is strengthened to speed up terrain destruction. These right here are for when you're harvesting stuff like, um, uh, well, the gold and um, the big rocks, the heridium, you know, the, the, the rocks that are actually part of the, the apparently they're an onion view here, the rocks that are actually in the ground. Um, like, I think right there. Yeah. See that stuff right there? That's what that does. It speeds up the mining of that. The focus is fa uh, process of resource rich materials, which means things like the crystals and the plants, stuff like that. So, oh my goodness, look at all the plutonium. My goodness. Which sucks is that last system I was on, man, that's buying plutonium like crazy. I went back down and mined a whole bunch of it that last trip. Came back up to the space station and they didn't want it. Matter of fact, they was buying at a massive uh, loss. They ended up selling a bunch of it, but still, it kind of sucked because, like, 
You know, I was making good money off of it. And I was mining it like crazy, and I had a full load of it. Personally, I think upgrading the beam over the bolt caster is more important. Because I got the grenade, and I mean, I could play without the grenade. Some people do. Oh, go, go away. <laughs> we'll recharge my stuff while you're like, while you go away. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Come on, shoot. All right now, get on my nerves. Don't make me shoot you. My multi-tool is multi-tool. Oh, that was good. Don, that'd be cool to have a multi-tool. It's got a laser and a grenade launcher and a electric machine gun. And <laughs> I got a feeling I'm not going to need plutonium at all. Let's see the mandatory space real quick. Alright. Those plutonium stacks. Are, oh my goodness. All the plutonium on the ship. Uh, wowzers. Oh, I guess we'll use zinc to recharge that. I don't think I need that, honestly. I'm not getting that bad of a toxic vibe on this planet, even though I know it is toxic. Still ain't sold none of this stuff. I'm almost afraid to sell it because, I mean, it's super rare. And what am I going to do if I need it and then I can't find it? And yeah. Uh, man, um, <laughs> got a lot stop scanning me. Go away. Uh, I don't want to worry about that right now. I got lots of plutonium. Need lots and lots of iron. I need lots of iron. That's what I want. We may end up dropping a bunch of this plutonium. I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a place to sell it. Oh goodness gracious! How did I even get into that? Whoa! Looks like the caves are full of water as well. It is raining apparently. Let's check something real quick. Can I upgrade my multi-tool to mine that stuff better? Yeah, we want to get rid of you. I do not care if it ricochets. That just seems like a good way to put your eye out. Let's see. Beam focus. Oh, it's a chrysanite, man. That stuff is retarded hard to find. I mean... Speed up the coolant combat. Yep. This one was the next one over. Still ain't seen this thing. I don't know what that does, but uh interesting. Hmm. Wonder if that would let me link the two. <laughs> Wish I could move this down there and just move all these right up underneath the mining beam. But let's see. I think I'm going to aim for. We'll, we'll figure out something as we go. The miner. Which one was the miner? This one, yeah. Now, these things take so long to mine. I'm definitely not going to waste time mining another one. Oh, my goodness. Well, that works. You don't get as much, but oh, <laughs> it barely even damaged that one. Wow. So mining iron from these things is really slow. Uh oh, I'm getting scanned. Oh. You know, sentinels are a pain in the butt. Wow, he called in a bunch of reinforcements real quick. Ugh. Oh, wax. 
bad one meant to stick a needle in my brain. I wasn't real sure I wanted to let him do it, but apparently, what is this? It was the right answer. Bright green light. Is it anything? I don't think it does anything. I think it just is a bright green light. Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do here. Alright, priest entity. What does the priest entity want? Want some iron or plutonium? I got plenty of that to give you. I know a lot of words from these guys. And he does not use it. Any of the words I know. Oh my goodness. Mm, that's not good. Your elements are being pulled from the resource vault at his speed, but some are running low. I feel bright lights constricting and directing their attention upon me. Place. I don't have any of that. I would take stuff from him, but then I'm afraid he'd be like, Barrr. So we'll, 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 we'll ignore you for now, and we'll come back later, okay? Maybe when I got some titanium, because I know I ain't going to find no chrysanite. Now, I might be a little upset if I start finding chrysanite on this planet, because I just bought a whole bunch of it for a whole bunch to make my last upgrade. But then again, I could make my next upgrade if I did. <laughs> oh, I hate numbers. A pulsing red light flashes on the console. Blow it. A sequence of numbers repeat itself endlessly. Blow it. Well, that repeated. It's clearly a distress signal. It is a cold, empty, distant way of viewing disaster that is like, in all likelihood, cost the pilots life. Like, ooh, a ship. If I can work out the encryption routine, I could perhaps trace the ship's point of impact. Ooh, yes. We need to solve this one properly. Um. Ooh. Let's see. Uh. 17, 33, 65, 129, 20, honestly have no idea at the moment, like, now we're in the, the point for these math puzzles, uh, let's see, so, what, it looks like, looks like double plus, because 33 plus 33 is 66, subtract 1 is 65. 65 plus 65 is what? Uh, oh, that don't come out right. Well, it does actually, in a way, if I subtract 1 from that total. Because, I mean, 130, subtract 1 is 129. So what's 129 plus 129? Uh, subtract 1. 257? Oh, yeah. Man, that was interesting. Like, that was different. Oh, the crash ship? Oh, we're going to go find the crash ship. Hopefully, it's nearby. I love it when a game just like we're gonna take forever and waste your time, huh? huh. Like I might even go to the might dip 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 might not even go to the next building. I might just fly to that crash ship so it don't disappear. Yep, we're gonna go to the next ship if we go to save point. I don't even care about the other building. I get me a much better ship. I'm all over that. Uh oh, looks like we've got a storm coming. So far, in my experience, the storms, man, they are rough. Or at least on the other planet, the storms were crazy. All right, blue ship bound. Please be a good ship. Something I'll actually want. Be nice and look good too. Don't particularly care for some of these ships I've been seeing. 
some of them look really awesome, others are like, wow, some of them really budged up on that design, didn't they? It looks like it's fairly close, too. One thing bad about finding a new ship is I gotta repair it. That's such a pain in the butt. Oh, it's gonna be one of them silly landings. Come on, spin around, spin around. Land the area not clear. Well, if I can ever turn around. I'm gonna land way out here. Might call it wraps upon this video. On the idea of them wraps after we get to the ship. If it's a good ship, I may save here and then work at repairing it tomorrow bad ship then I don't know <laughs> hmm. not what I'd call my preferred design but in my experience those types of ships do have a fairly large amount of storage so you can buy boxes like I say Pilot lies dead beside a short circuit, short short circuiting control panel that sparks incrementally. Beside the dead robotic navigator, hovers a sentinel that nudges the deceased life form, almost as as if to wake it. As I approach the floating machine, it fires a warning shot in my direction. Search the remainder of ship. Enter peacefully and search the cockpit. Destroy the sentinel and search the cockpit. Search the cockpit and peacefully. Oh, well, I guess I got hurt, but I got something good apparently. Ooh, I've been hurt. Ooh, new discovered. But oh, I got ice protection. That yeah, I could use that. I ain't been to a cold planet yet, but that that'll be handy when I do. <laughs> All right, let's look at this ship. Wow, talking about a snub nose. It ain't got no front end, does it? You don't crash this one. One of the pilots dead. Sixteen slots? Really? That is absolutely pathetic. Like, why do I even bother coming over and looking at it? That, it does not look like that's got such a small amount. It looks like that could hold all kinds of stuff. Anything in the box? A yak charm. Well, that was a rip. Oh, I'm not going to aim while I'm moving. Man, that, that, that was a bummer. Like, I was excited. I was all like, yeah, I'm going to get a new ship. All right, well, I hope you all have somewhat enjoyed this video. I've had enjoyed uh, talking to y'all while I play. Kind of one-sided, but, you know, it's ability to talk to yourself as you record. I mean, you got to prove the craziness. But <laughs> we're going to call it a wraps here. I'm going to hop in and out of my ship real quick to save. In. You need to save when you get back in ship. That'd be really nice. And out. But uh, you all have fun. Stay safe. Game on.